And hello one and all, and I'm back up here with a video in which I wanted to give you my full thoughts and opinions, discuss the announcement that WWE made yesterday about 205 Live. If you haven't heard, it is going to be a new weekly series dedicated specifically to the Cruiserweight division. Uh, this announcement really came out of nowhere, you probably heard by now, but if not... I have the press release right here in front of me, and it says, On November 29th, a new program called 205 Live, which will showcase the WWE's new Cruiserweight division, will premiere after SmackDown, Tuesday, November 29th at 10 p.m., exclusively on the network. The Live Weekly Show will be called by Mara Ranallo and Corey Graves, so right there, off the bat. Boom. We get the dream commentary team that I've been waiting to hear so long. We got a taste of them in Hell in a Cell, and I cannot wait to hear more from Mara Ronaldo and Corey Graves. To me, they could be... To me, I just think there's so much potential in them as a commentary team, and it's nice we're getting... I mean, I, I think this shows the philosophy of Triple H. Less is more. We're getting a two-man booth, not the cluttered three-man booth that I'm not a fan of on Raw and SmackDown. So to me... Um, that's already a big plus right there. But just reading, you know, more from the press release, it says, um, 205 Live will feature superstars that are 205 pounds, 205 pounds and under, including Brian Kendrick, TJ Perkins, Rich Swan, Noam Dar, Hoho Lun, Cedric Alexander, Lynn Dorado, Graham Metallic, Akira Tozawa, Jack Gallagher, Guar Shuri, and Harv Shuri. And uh, pretty much talks about how 205 Live will be a must-see program. It's a quote here from Triple H. Um, so this really, you know, comes as a shock. I mean, I, I heard rumblings about a potential Cruiserweight show on the docket, but I didn't see anything like this happening that soon. Now, uh, obviously, we also found out from, you know, um, inklings on the Internet that apparently Talking Smack will now air an hour um, later now, so you'll have 205 Live at 10, which will be shot in the same arena that SmackDown is taking place um, in, and then uh, Talking Smack will air at 11. So I'm not sure if Talking Smack will be pre-recorded now or still be able to air live, but um, to me, my overall thoughts on it, it it's kind of mixed. It's like, well, they have three hours on Raw, so you know, to me, it just shows how they're clearly inept on that show of you know misutilizing and really underutilizing the cruiserweight. It's like when we heard they were coming to Raw, we really hoped that it would energize the three-hour shows, and it just really hasn't done that up until this point. I don't know. I just felt like what they were doing on the CWC when it made that transition to Raw, whether it was due to the production you know, from Kevin Dunn and Vince McMahon and whatnot in the direction that they took them, maybe watered them down, toned them down as we have seen, and just really had no direction, you know, just throwing them in random six-man tags, you know, and not giving them maybe a, a, the proper amount of time that they should. So I like the fact that, you know, it's, to me, based on this press release and from what we've heard, they will still be on Raw, but they'll also be on this new 205 live show. So I think this is probably a Triple H move, definitely one of his calls. I think, you know, just judging, in my opinion, based on the situation, maybe he was seeing how, you know, the Cruiserweights weren't really gelling, you know, weren't really succeeding on Raw as, you know, we thought they would, and putting them on this platform, this avenue on the network will be what they need to do in order to kind of recapture the magic that we saw in the CWC. Because the CWC was just some of the best action all summer, hell, all year that the WWE has produced. So if they can capture what they did there on this show, uh, I think it'll be good stuff. Now, uh, another qualm that I have is if, you know, okay, they're still going to be on Raw, the Cruiserweights, but I really wish that they would just make Raw two hours again. I mean, if the Cruiserweights, you know, and having all this other talent and the little bit expanded roster compared to SmackDown, it's just not working. I mean, these three-hour Raws just continue to drag and drag. So, you know, an idea that I threw out there was, I wish instead of having it air after SmackDown, what I would have done is, on the USA Network, have 8 to 9, be 205 Live, give it a shot, see how it does on the network, and then Raw from 9 to 11. That way, 
It's, you know, you have Raw shorten back the two hours, and then you can also introduce the Cruiserweights, seeing as how they're already, you know, on the Raw roster. Why not just have the show air before Raw, fill that 8-9 to nine slot, and then go from there. But obviously they're going in a different direction. I'm in a, interested to see how this show does, especially, you know, maybe they'll just transition to having the Cruiserweights appear exclusively on 205 Live and just take them off Raw completely. Uh, and if you do take them off Raw in the long run, please, please make that show go back to two hours. Um, but this is certainly an interesting development. It'll be more um, live, you know, WWE programming. You know, we'll have Raw, three hours of Raw, two hours of SmackDown, an hour of NXT. Now this 205 Live is a little bit much. Yeah, uh, it probably is. But uh, Tuesday nights, man, you got SmackDown and 205 Live. Tuesdays and Wednesdays are where it's at. I mean, Mondays, I could just be like, ugh. Man, I'd skip through Raw. But, like, when come Tuesday and Wednesday, that's the good stuff right there. So, I'm looking forward to seeing how this show does. And uh, I just wanted to get this video out there giving you my opinions and thoughts on this. So, uh, shocking development yesterday. Like I said, the announcement of 205 Live, Tuesday, November 29th. Mark your calendars, 10 p.m., exclusively on the WWE Network. I look forward to seeing what they have in store, and hopefully it keeps the uh, theme and whatnot of the Cruiserweight Classic uh, that I really would like to have seen them hopefully emulate on this show. Um, so we'll see where they go with that, but guys, that is it for my uh, quick video here. So I just wanted to get that out there on 205 Live. So we'll see you guys whenever my next video vid uh, video will be. And until then, guys, take care and have a great rest of your day.